$8 for this little thing. That's like almost two Starbucks drinks. Hey guys, it's Lakin from Plan with Lakin. Welcome back to my channel. I have never done a video on one product before, so I'm kind of excited about this. I am here today to review the Erin Condren reusable tote bag that she gives away when you place an order over a certain amount. Also available for individual purpose on the website. I have three here with three different patterns that I'm gonna show y'all. This is how they look all folded up. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys how I fold them. I don't know if it's right, but I'm gonna show you how I do it to make them look like this. If you wanna skip straight to that part, I will put the timestamp up in the corner and you can fast forward there. But if you wanna hear my thoughts on the product, then let's get going. So the first one I ever got was this mid-century circles one and this is what it looks like unfolded Ooh, ah. I got this as a gift with purchase when I went to the Erin Condren store for the first time mostly I'm just obsessed with this pattern and I was really excited to have this bag but to be honest it didn't look like much to me it did not look very big when I use these bags I'm usually going grocery shopping and I have a lot of stuff and I was like well this isn't really gonna do anything for me but I love this pattern so sounds good and then I got this painted puddles one in in one of the seasonal surprise boxes and I can't remember which one so this one is not available online and then lastly I have this flowered one this ink so I think that's what it's, this is called ink something ink floral ink and this is available on the website in three different colors the other one that's available on the website is the woven wonder I will post it here I thought that I had that one but I can't find it anywhere so either I had it or I don't know Charlie stole it so first I want to talk about how durable these are I have put books I actually I put weights in them one time and it didn't break they are incredibly durable they hold a lot of weight and that really impressed me they also hold a lot more quantity wise than I thought they would I frequently will use this to carry stuff to work I will I will put a set of gym clothes gym shoes my lunch and then sometimes even like an extra book and I still have space I want to hold this up to a couple of like household items or just not household but items that you know the size of so you can see how big this actually is so let's start with a bottle of wine so here's a size comparison to a bottle of wine and here is said bottle of wine in the bag you can't see this I don't know what I'm trying to do here you could probably easily fit six bottles of wine in this bag. Sounds like a good picnic. All right, the next item is an Erin Condren binder. This is not sponsored by Erin Condren. <laughs> here is a size comparison from the front. It's pretty big. And then here is the binder inside the bag. There's a couple inches on top where the binder doesn't hit, and then there's plenty of space with this. I actually frequently use this a lot to carry my Rent the Runway bag, which is huge if you watched my last favorites video run through runway unlimited it's the best but that bag you zip the handles up inside so when it's time to carry it to the post office it's like a huge pain but I use my Erin Condren bag and it's perfect so is this worth eight bucks if you are somebody who uses tote bags a lot if you live in a city where you have to pay for your grocery bags or you're going to Costco and although the stuff at Costco is so big. I usually take three, two or three of my big Costco bags and then two or three of these for like smaller things like eggs. If you are somebody who uses tote bags every day, I think it's worth the eight bucks because they are incredibly high quality. They hold a lot more than they look and they roll up into that little ball, which makes them easy to toss into your bag. So I always keep one in my work bag just in case because you never know when you're gonna need it. My, It's the first tote bag I go to when I need a tote bag for something that's not Costco. All right, now let me show you guys how I roll them up. Again, I don't know if there's a right way to fold these bags, but this is how I do it. So I start with it laid flat and then I will fold it in half. I will then fold the handles in and then I start from the side that has the tag on it and I start rolling it pretty much as tight as I can. I mean, I don't want it to be like a roll, like a tootsie roll, but I want it to be pretty tight because it loosens up as you go. All right, so then I take this rectangle and I roll it this direction and just try and keeping it as tight as you can because it, it always ends up loosening up. And then once you get it in this little Tootsie Roll, I personally think that the elastic is inside out because if you put it with the sparkly side out, it is all 
twist it. I will show you. So see how it's all twisted right there? So I actually just put it with the matte side out. My friend Janet actually re-sewed all of hers so that it will be sparkly side out. Sometimes you just gotta finagle it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new here, welcome. Please click that subscribe button if you liked this video. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday inspiring others to achieve their goals through planning and organization. I'll see you guys next time. Happy planning.